everyone, it's Molly. Today I'm making tomato soup, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook the tomatoes, onion, and one bay leaf for 10 minutes. So I have this set over medium high heat and I'm going to put the lid on it, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and stir it occasionally. So the recipe now says to pass the tomato and onion mixture through a colander. I don't have one of those old vintage style cone colanders. What I do have is a sieve, so we're gonna use this. I'm just gonna use this spoon to push this mixture through the sieve. I changed my heat to medium and I'm just gonna put the tomato juice back in the pot. I'm going to add the butter to it. Now the recipe just says to add a teaspoon of salt, but it doesn't specify how much onion powder or pepper or celery salt to add. So I'm just gonna go with a quarter teaspoon of celery salt, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then the teaspoon of salt. And it also says you can add a cup of cream, and that's optional, but to heat it before you add it. So I'm gonna heat up a cup of cream and I'm going to add it to the soup. And now I'm adding the cream. And I'm just going to heat this through and then we will see how it tastes. All right, I have Dan with me. Hey everybody. So, we are going to taste test the soup. Now, Dan, I got this recipe from the Watkins cookbook. This was copyright around 1938. Interesting, it, it told me to basically run the onions and tomatoes after they were cooked through a colander. Mm -hmm. And I think what it was wanting me to do was to use one of those cone-shaped colanders that has the little smasher. I don't have one of those. So I ran it through the sieve. I didn't get as much uh, tomato, juice or tomato pulp as I think I would have had I had the correct colander. I got it a decent amount and the cream was optional. I went for the cream because I love cream of tomato soup. So let's see how it tastes. It smells really good. It didn't specify the amount of seasoning for the onion, powder, pepper, and celery salt. So hopefully I seasoned it correctly. And it didn't make very much soup. Mm -mm. It's a pretty tiny amount. This would this is probably gonna be enough soup for me and Dan for tonight, just one dinner. So just kind of keep that in mind. Wow, what do you think? I think it's amazing. I think it's delicious. I love how creamy it is. And it's just right seasoned. Like it's not it's not too overwhelming. Yeah. It's and it's very creamy. Yeah, I think it's great. I think it would been, would have been really easy to add too much salt to this because there's also celery salt. So maybe start out at a quarter teaspoon of each and then see how you like it. You can always add more. But this is great, it's creamy, it's, it's it got a tomato flavor. It's delicious. This is my new favorite tomato soup recipe. Yeah. This, is, this is an amazing soup. It's yeah. really good. And what's nice is it doesn't make too, it's easy to double. You could double or triple this recipe if you want, but just as is, it's like the perfect amount perfect amount of soup for two people. A lot of times the recipes make so much food and we're eating the same leftovers for days. This is really nice because it's it's definitely the perfect amount of soup for two people. One for, and done. Yeah, one and done. Or you can tri double or triple it, but this is great. I've never made a tomato soup where I've strained, strained out like the pulp and the solids from the tomatoes and onions. And I think I really like that. Perfect soup for a cold winter night. Yep. There you go. Tomato soup from 1938, delicious. Absolutely a must make. Oh, I like that. A must make, you must make this, please do. <laughs> and let us know. Yes, and let us know down in the comments below if you do make this and what your favorite winter and fall soup is. Mine's either potato soup, click the link above to see that video, or this tomato soup is quickly becoming my new favorite. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I upload new content every Wednesday and Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage recipes for you. Well, we hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good night. Good night.